I made a video showing you guys how to turn your old iPad into a secondary monitor for your computer completely free. And if you're interested in that, you can check out this video here. Now, although it was free and you guys found it really helpful and really cool, a lot of you guys did tell me that you've had problems with latency issues. There was a lot of lag or maybe resolution problems. So some of you guys weren't really able to use the app. Now, I personally didn't experience those issues, but I really don't use that app so heavily. So I did a little bit of research and I found a second option that you guys can choose, but it's gonna be paid. It's not gonna be free like my other option. And the app that I'm talking about is Duet, which is an app that allows you to connect your iPad to your computer using a lightning cable, which is the cable that you use to charge your iPad via USB into your computer. And it allows you to extend your display and have your iPad as a secondary option. It costs $9.99, and in my opinion, it works really well. Now I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. All you have to do is head over to your app store and look for an app called Duet. Once you download this app and you open it, you're gonna notice that it's gonna ask you to download a secondary app on your computer, which of course is free. This app is what allows your computer to communicate with your iPad. Now, once you've downloaded both apps, all you have to do is grab your lightning cable and connect it from your PC to your iPad. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up the app on your iPad if you don't have it already. Give it one moment and then just like that, you'll see that automatically it'll extend the screen. Now, we're not done. There's a couple things I wanna tell you. First is when you open up the app on your computer screen, there's a few options under the settings that you can change. For example, you could change the frames per second, you could change the type of performance that it does, and you can even change the resolution. Keep in mind that when you increase the resolution on Duet, it's gonna decrease the size of the icons on the iPad, but it's okay because all you have to do is simply right click on your computer screen and go down to where it says display setting. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that you're gonna have a number one and a number two. These represent your monitors. So for example, number one represents my larger monitor and number two represents the iPad. So since I have my iPad to my left, I wanna go ahead and drag this over to the left and hit apply. That's gonna allow my mouse to travel from one screen to the other. Otherwise, you're gonna have it backwards. The next thing that I want you to notice is where it says scale and layout. Under that is where you can change the font size. But what you change this to is completely personal and it's up to your own preference. Now, although I have it set to 60 frames per second, I don't think that it's as smooth as it is on this monitor, but I think that this is a perfect thing to have for times when you're gonna take your laptop out, you're not gonna be home, probably you're in school or probably you're traveling and you want a secondary monitor. You don't wanna spend extra money because you have an iPad lying around and therefore you can just connect this and it'll be perfect. Yes, the touch screen does work on it, so you can actually navigate around your desktop and apps using the touch screen, which is great. And in my opinion, it just makes so much sense because it's such an easy thing to carry around with you when you're taking your laptop around. I also wanted to mention that there's a way to make this a wireless display. You don't need the cable, but it's gonna cost you $19.99 a year. So it's not a big deal. I personally haven't tried it. I may make another video in the future if you guys request it, showing you how it works. I've heard that it works well, but I personally don't need that. I'm okay with the cable. But either way, for $20 a year, I don't think it's a bad option at all. Now, something funny that I wanted to share with you guys is that exactly one year ago, I made the same exact video that I'm making right now, except it was the free version that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. And yes, I made it on April Fool's Day, just like today. And the funny thing is that I got a bunch of comments on that video of people telling me, oh my God, I thought that you were gonna make a joke. I thought this was gonna be a prank. And they were really excited and happy that it wasn't a prank. So if you're thinking that this was an April Fool's joke, it's not, I promise you, this is a legit way to turn your old iPad into a secondary monitor for your computer. Now, I personally think this is super simple and easy to do. I had no issues doing this, but if you guys run into any problems whatsoever, or if you have any questions or any concerns, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer it for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it's not free like my other video, but it's definitely an amazing option to have. So I'll see you guys down in the comments.